Hello everyone, welcome to your 8-2 lesson on quadratic functions in vertex form. So our learning target for today, we are going to graph quadratic functions using vertex form. We'll be able to identify key features of the graph of quadratic functions written in vertex form, and we'll be able to graph quadratic functions in vertex form. So vertex form, vertex form, vertex form, right? So what is vertex form of a quadratic function? So here's what vertex form looks like. f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Um, the vertex is h comma k. So the reason why we call this vertex form is we're gonna be able to see or pick out the vertex values right from the form right here. Um, our axis of symmetry will be x equals whatever the h, the x coordinate of your vertex is. So x equals h. And then we'll just take note that we'll have this a value that we had in our last lesson that's now just going to be in front of these parentheses. Um, that a value will help determine if your parabola opens up or down what the graphing pattern is in relation to 1, 3, 5, and if you have a stretch or a compression, did your parabola get narrower than the parent function or did it get wider than the parent function? All right, let's get started. <laughs> 